What is good, John? Welcome back to it again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. But first and foremost, I gotta say, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas to those of you who celebrate it and to those of you who don't celebrate it. Happy Holidays to you guys. Um, J.I. Squad, just wanted to start off by saying, man, 2023 is coming to an end. And it's been one heck of a year, man, from... Becoming a dad to hitting 5,000 subscribers to hitting 15,000 subscribers to hitting 10,000 subscribers. Man, a ton of milestones we've hit um, this year from the racing scene, establishing ourselves in the racing scene a little bit, putting our toes into the drag strip world and stuff like that. Man, we have done a lot this year. So I just wanted to take this time right here in this video to just show you guys my appreciation and let you guys know that your support does not go unseen by any means. Now, you guys see the title and the thumbnail of today's video. Unfortunately, Vader is down again. But technically, it's not really down, but it is. So right now, the car is currently at my mother-in-law's house. It's been there for the past, like, three, four days. I have not driven it because of this issue and just also because, you know, we've been running around and whatnot. It's my daughter's first Christmas. So getting everything organized and, and situated, you know, we were doing things over at our mother-in-law's house and they're doing things over here at our house and just you know a whole bunch of ripping and running and stuff like that um if you guys have kids you understand but even if you don't have kids y'all all know the holidays are always hectic always um so anyway that all that being said vader is still currently at the mother-in-law's house right now um but i'm gonna go ahead and kind of let you guys know what's going on with the car before we get to it um and then I already have the resolution, um, you know, figured out and whatnot. I know what I'm going to do. I got a guy um, that works with the dealership that's going to fix the issue. But, yeah. So, I live in Houston, Texas, for those of you guys who don't know. And for those of you guys who have never been to Houston, Texas, listen to me when I say this. And it's not even disrespectful. Don't come to Houston. Don't do it. Unless you're going to be riding around in an Uber all the time, don't come to Houston, bro. I'm telling you. Why? Because Houston probably has one of the worst roads out there, bro. Potholes are literally craters, okay? Craters. They're craters. There's potholes, and then there's craters. We have craters, okay? And with that being said, I ended up hitting one of those craters, and guess what it did? I'll go ahead and put a picture up on the screen right now. So yeah, as you guys can see right here, my wheel is cracked. My stock factory Wendell Lee alloy wheel, if I'm not mistaken, is cracked. I have, let me just, let me just stress this to you guys. I'm currently running a 285-3520, if I'm not mistaken, a 285-3520 on my front tire and a 305 30 20 in the rear now i used to run a 305 35 20 but i can't get my tire because it's out of stock long story short whatever so right now i'm running a 305 30 20 which is the stock factory size for the zl1 and the 1le's but anyway um that is a fat sidewall okay the 35 is a fat sidewall that is a lot of cushion so you guys you guys got to think about it look at this picture again that kind of damage was done by a crater not a pothole look at that i mean bruh that is crazy it literally not only did it crack the wheel it also chipped it it took out bits and pieces of my wheel it was an aggressive hungry crater you did what i'm saying so that being said, we finally got the check engine light issue figured out and fixed and sorted. And then, boom, cracked the wheel. I thought I got a nail. I was super bummed about it, but I was not because it's like, okay, yeah, I could just fix it. I'll just take the tire off and I'll patch it. Literally, at the job, no big deal. 
took it off, could not find this nail for the life of me, bro. Sprayed the sidewall and bubbles. So yeah, man, Vader has a cracked wheel right now. My boy tore his meniscus, he's out of the game. You know what I'm saying? He does got surgery coming up, but yeah. Yeah. Um, like I said, man, I really just wanted to come on here and just thank you guys for your support for real for real. But let's go ahead and head over to my mother-in-law's house, throw some air in this tire, and limp this car back to the JIHQ and get it prepared for the guy to go ahead and weld the wheel and whatnot. And then maybe, just maybe, we can finally get to the drag strip and make a pass. It's been 40, 30, 50 degrees consistently out here in Houston. The weather is perfect for racing. So hopefully we can get this situation figured out. My guy can weld the wheel and it'll be fine. He said that he can. I sent him the pictures. He said he could fix it. But you never know, man. So let's go ahead head over to the mother-in-law's house and i get you guys a four-day cold start. Sheesh. I feel bad for her neighbors. Not really. One of them already complained, but whatever. One hour later. All right, y'all. As y'all can see, big flat tires, man. Well, it's cool. Let's go ahead and get this cold start going. Pull the car out. Add some air to this tire, and then I'll probably give y'all a couple pulls to close out this video. I am right behind the car for this, so hit that like button right now for my eardrums. Many unbearable hours later. Yo, what is good, y'all? You do what I'm saying? It's your boy. <laughs> y'all already know by now, at least, if I'm coming on here at the end of the vlog in a completely different setting, in a completely different fit, nine times out of ten, I forgot to record the outro. So basically, in the last clip that you guys seen, um, it was the co-start of Vader. I ain't gonna lie, that joint was crazy. I mean, that joint was mad loud, bro. Um, and I know I told you guys that I was gonna get you guys some pools to close out this video. And honestly, bro, I really only was able to get one solid hit. So I'll go ahead and insert that clip now, but I do apologize. It is shot in basically um vertical mode so like real or short mode it's not recorded in youtube format where it's like landscape horizontal it's vertical um so that being said i might have to zoom in to the clip just to make it fit your screen so i do apologize for that but i will say this is one aggressive ass 40 row so you guys enjoy and then i'm gonna go ahead and roll that outro and we'll get out of here to make it up to you guys though, I do have a hard pulls video coming very, very soon. No talking, this is type Vader ASMR, Catalyst, full Boton, header, E85. I am gonna pump it on E85, like all of that. I got a POV style vlog in my head that I'm actually gonna be dropping for you guys. So stay tuned, I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna make it up for y'all right now. So that being said, get this video a big thumbs up. Stay tuned because I got a lot of events coming up this weekend. I might be going to a cruise and I might be going to the drag strip. If I don't go to the drag strip this weekend, more than likely it'll be next weekend. I just got to get this freaking wheel fixed first. So it all depends on when my guy can come do it. That being said, y'all, enjoy this clip. Enjoy the outro. Happy holidays.